Hi. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Delbert Richardson, and I'm a second generation storyteller, but I'm also a community scholar. I am so glad to be here with you today. Are you glad to be here with me? What we're gonna talk about today is why you are so important, and not only are you so, so important, you're an amazing individual. One of my goals is when I get done talking today, you will fully understand how important you are and how you can be everything you want to be. I am, and so are you. By the way, let me read a story to you that's entitled, I Am. Amazing students have come before me. I will be one too. Following in their footsteps is something I must do. I am great. I look to history as one of my biggest teachers. I'm proud of my brown complexion and my African features. I am handsome and beautiful also. I am happy with myself for doing the right things. Being honest, caring, and fair gives me good feelings. I am kind. Doing my best in school is something I will do. Learning math and science is pretty awesome too. I am smart. I eat healthy foods and exercise a lot. I have to be good to my body. It's the only one I've got. I'm important. Family and friends want me to succeed. Even though I don't know, support and believe in me. I am loved. I can be president. I can be a professor or even my own, my own business. It takes a lot of hard work, but I know I can do this. I am able. I am reflective of God. He lives within me. I come from excellence. I will fulfill my destiny. I am thankful. I am great, I am handsome, I am kind, I am smart, I am important, I am loved, I am able, I am thankful, I am a king, and I am a queen also. Daily activity. I want you to stand in the mirror every day and repeat all the sentences that start with the words, I am. I want you to really believe it, just like I do. If people say things to you that are not nice, hmm, you will know in your heart that it's not true. You are amazing, and I am proud of you. In closing, I just want to say, not only are you amazing, but you're beautiful too. In closing, what I want to tell you is that not only are you amazing, not only are you smart, you are going to change the world. But guess what? There are superheroes that we've talked about that have changed the world. When you hear the word superheroes, what comes to mind? Mm, Superman, Spider-Man? How about, I have two examples of some superheroes that look like me in terms of skin color. So the question I wanna ask you, if you could use your imagination, and I know you dream, you dream, don't you? What superhero would you want to be? 
how could you see yourself using your amazing gifts? Yes, you are very gifted. What powers would you have? But before that, what would you look like? Would you have green hair? Would you have a cape? Would you be able to fly? And once you decide how you look, what powers would you want to change the world? I like to help people, do you? Yeah, I can see you nodding your head. So if you had some superpowers, how could you help someone that's less fortunate or had some needs that you really feel like they deserved? Hey, I've got an idea. How about I introduce you to some real live superheroes that look like me and you that have made some amazing inventions? So I got a question. Who knows what this here is? I'll give you a hint. It goes on a door and you need it to get inside the door. Yeah, I knew. You knew. You guessed it was a doorknob. Yes. Someone that looks like me and looks like you invented this doorknob. When I say look like me, I'm talking about Oops, black inventors. <laughs> Let me share with you a couple other inventions that were made by people that look like you and me. Let's see, who likes ice cream? Raise your hand. I see your hand, I see your hand. But here's the question, what's your favorite flavor? I can't hear you. Yeah, the reason why I'm asking, did you know that somebody looks like me and you invented the ice cream scoop. Yes, we did. What you would do was stick these in. Well, you have one, you know how it works. Here's a little lever right here. So I always like to talk about the light bulb, but it's really the filament inside that makes the light glow oh so bright. But I like to use this light bulb to do this. Know what that means? I've got a bright idea. So I want you to think about your bright idea as we go through the inventions. How could you see yourself one day being on the table? So I think everybody knows what this here is, right? This is a paintbrush, right? No. So you have a bed and you may have a desk chair. This is called a caster. So what somebody thought of, hmm, while I'm sitting down this chair, I want to be able to move around without getting up. And so this will allow the chair to move freely on the floor. Who can play an instrument? Now, if I ask you to sing a tune, will you sing a tune for me? This is a guitar, right? Someone that looks like me and you improved on the guitar. And last but not least on this table, it's the most important, well, how about most popular invention? What is this? Yes, it's a super soaker. This is a big squirt gun. I think, eh, I want you to think about what would it take to make this? Would it take someone that's creative? Who knows what this here is? Yes, it's a fire extinguisher. This was used to put out fires. Here are some more amazing inventions that were made by people that look just like you and I. You know what this here is? This is called a horseshoe. Yes, horses wear shoes. This was invented by somebody that looks just like you and I, so the horse could walk and run and his feet not hurt. Have you ever tried running on rocks without your shoes? It doesn't feel too good. So you can imagine how a horse would feel also too. So someone, someone black that looks like you and I invented this so a horse could be more comfortable. Uh-oh, I've got an owie. 
Have you ever had an owie before? Yeah, I know. I have too. And so someone looks like you and I invented the bandit so we could feel better about our owie. Yes. Now, mm, raise your hand if you do chores at the house. Get them up. I know you do. So this is, what is this? No, this is not a broom. This is a dustpan. This was used to pick up dirt after you cleaned up your bedroom. Uh-oh, hear that noise? What is this? You're right, it's a light switch. Someone that looks like you and I invent a light switch. Now, I'm gonna pause for a second because we've talked about a few items. Hope you can remember them. I want you to think about, hmm, well, how many inventions can you find in your home or your apartment? I know you can find at least two. And I'm sure your mother, your father, your garden, or your sister and brother would be glad to help you. Now, these are goggles that we use to protect the eyes. Yes, I wear glasses, but that's so I can see better. But sometimes when people are working and they're working around things that may not be that safe, they'll put these goggles on to protect their eyes. Yes, someone that looks like you and I made these. How does that make you feel in all these amazing things? I feel good about myself. Now, this is something that some of you may not be aware of. You hear that noise? It's called an egg beater. So let me help you understand how this item evolved. Just imagine, have you ever helped your mother, your father, or your guardians make a cake or bake cookies? Well, they used to, back a long time ago, have a spoon. And they used to stir and stir, and the arm kept getting sore. Then they said, hmm, what if I got an idea? What if I invented something that had multiple spoons? You guys hear that? But you probably didn't know this. Do you have a blender at home? If you don't, I know you've seen a blender. So this here is a handheld blender, and the one you have at home, are the ones you press a button and electricity now run them. This is a lemon squeeze. You put the lemon inside of here and you would smash like this and all that juice would come down so you can make lemonade. You like lemonade? So do I. So one of the last items I wanna share with you is this here and I'm sure if you're not in school already, soon you will be, and this is called a pencil sharpener. So you would stick a pencil inside of here, and you would sharpen a pencil so you can have a sharp point. Aren't these some amazing inventions? And guess what? If you look at these images here, don't they look like you? When you think about yourself and your brilliance, remember that this could be you one day. My beautiful, amazing students, please remember that you have the possibility to change the world.